Hello everyone, welcome to Kanye Gaming. My name is L and today we are gonna play Game of Thrones episode 4. Now, for this game I won't be talking so you can enjoy this like you are actually watching the actual series on TV. I don't think this game has enough material for a commentary type video and I personally rather watch it without a commentary anyway. It will be like two episodes, about 50 minutes each of them. Uh, take some snacks or something to drink if you like, and I hope you enjoy. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Vesca! Ah! Ah! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. Foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. 
out with it. What happened? Garrett's telling the truth. Britt attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Gary killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. I know you hate it, Britt, but this... What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crusters. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. But you knew it might. And now it has. You'll have to face the consequences, Garrett. But John... I'm sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long, though. The axe man will find you soon enough. of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them, covered in dirt. dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Sean. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't fight. <laughs> You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. 
And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsword. Why did you come here? You've been polite. Accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. Oh, that's uh, it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and live. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Pesca here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Now, does it? Let's Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking me. Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! That's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. 
You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. Won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill. Paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. The arrogant pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Dwight will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. 
Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. It's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the end plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention Cersei and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood Whitehill. Blood Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. That's all you found out. I already knew that much. It's the best I could do. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. This one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Now you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Just sand. Harry! 
Wait! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? You had my back with Finn. He would have killed me over that knife. I figured it was about time I returned the favor. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. Through, I think. It's lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he is? You've run off with potato fucker over here. I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight, you know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! No turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. I've broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. I didn't mean for it to come to this. The vows I took here. I meant them. 
And someday I'll come back to one of them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Arguing with the maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. <laughs> My hand! Don't leave ya. <coughs> You're not the Lord. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility! Just like your maester here. Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <laughs> oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing. No, 
Robert. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. I did warn you, Maeve. You can hear me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! Roderick, listen to me! Fucking! I can't. I can't fucking see. Least I can do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. As long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! Well, in the seven bloody hells! I'm glad to see you two again along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? When I did swinging a fucking... <laughs> Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croc. This is bloody important. Are you afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croc. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? Are you gonna lecture me too? Oh, oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Uh. 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 Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Beska! We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that! So what, you're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city? I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered 
every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dizor so Raza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. you want. supposed to attend but then you know lady marjorie doesn't want to see you what could be so important lord whitehill is up to something he's conspiring against my family and someone in there is helping him lady marjorie would be furious mira i can't i'm sorry I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble, I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And um, what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick!
What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. Oh, really? My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. Little loads. What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I, I, um, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Please, if you wish. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the Ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, the bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. 
Simon Lannister. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals, huh? Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, and I'm not sure. You must understand. I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew him. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? A man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. You're just gonna stand there. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. You've been drinking more than wine, Lord Lyman. What? What do you... I know about the milk of the poppy. And what happened at Lannisport. No, you can't. No one can know. If you want me to keep it quiet, tell me about Andros. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... There. You got what you wanted. But if you tell anyone what you heard about me, those cell swords won't be the only thing you have to worry about. What did I tell you? It doesn't matter anymore, Andros. She knows everything. Lady Mira. You've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. 